I'm Rissa, I'm one of your Arch9 producers, and we're here today in Bonnie Doon, California, visiting the O2 Pine Cone Tree House. I am here at the Pine Country House Forest for two reasons. First and probably most important is that I want to escape a city and all of the risks and annoyances that come with living in a building with hundreds of people that you don't see, but definitely hear and probably smell. And secondly, as a person who loves to explore, having the chance to come to Bonnie Dune Forest for a weekend getaway, I had to say yes. Okay you guys, we made it here to Donnie Boone. We are in front of the Pine Cone House. It is spectacular. Let's go. So this pine cone structure will immerse you in 360 degree views of coastal redwood trees. It rises 50 feet above the forest floor and is composed of 56 laser steel diamond frames. Every piece of this design was custom built and the architect kept the idea of sustainability in mind. The only way to enter the pine cone pod is through an alternating step ladder. It's kind of steep, but like it's doable. We have this cool rope. Let's go. I made it. We are here in the tree house. Dude, this is so pretty, it's so cute. I think it's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but it definitely is a pod, as, as, as they described it online. Bed looks super soft. I'm gonna take off my outside clothes because I'm not an animal before I get in it, but I thought I was gonna have like a small panic attack walking up the stairs from clutching onto the rails so tightly. That did not happen. I walked up, made it. Amenity check, woo, woo, woo. Okay, so we have some cute lounge spots for a couple. I think that they said that this bed could either be like one single or two doubles. We have our lights. Ooh, there's dimmers on it too, so romantic. We have our heater. Honestly, I'm, I'm not saying it's lacking amenities, but it has just enough for the perfect night. I tried to open a window and I succeeded, but they are quite heavy. Um, do they all open? Okay, that one opens, but if I slip while opening that, I am sliding down. So these will be staying closed. Very cool. We're gonna go down to the bathroom, check it out. I hear that there's a composting toilet. I know nothing about that. Gonna go learn. Guys, I just opened the door. There is a lock, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs. That's not a good start. Going down, going down. We're in the bathroom, which is directly below the Pine Country House. You access it through a 25 foot ramp. It's a pretty small space, but it does have great views like the rest of the tree house. But like beside me, you'll see the composting toilet. I was kind of wary of it when, when I first walked in, but no smell and it's pretty easy to use. So there is a pile of wood chips next to the toilet. After you're done, take a, like a generous scoop, you put it in and then crank it a, little, a few times on the bottom just to help with the decomposing process. Um, re really simple, really sanitary. The shower is, is directly in front of me and we have this sink to our right. Mirror, mirror, not on the wall. This is the most handsome forest of them all. So after you're done with your business, we know what that is, you can just open these doors and voila, it's nature's for breeze. But if you look around, you will see many different colors of wood and different sizes. So this is all reclaimed wood from the boards to the, the, the paneling on the sides. And it really just speaks to how sustainable this place actually is. Unlike the tree house, it actually locks another layer of privacy. So what's really cool about the shower is that the water goes directly down into the grate below. Water off your back, literally onto the ground and into the trees. How cool is that? We are actually underneath the pine cone now. This is a little hammock space where you can go to, maybe maybe if you have too much time with your partner or whoever you're here with, this is another indoor space that you guys can occupy. You can look straight down from here, which is pretty cool. And not as, not as frightening as, as, as I would think it is. Each time I go up and down, it's, it's a little like less intimidating. I'm no longer like, it's like watching my feet as I go down. Um, but a pro tip I found is make sure that your hair is pulled back as you're descending the stairs so you can really see where like your feet are landing. Looking around, I definitely see the, the, the lines of where it's suspended, but it's honestly just like these, these like really thick redwood trees are around me. In the distance, you can hear like the, the trucks on the road, which isn't too far away. It's that like perfect balance of someone can hear you, but they can't like always see you. And so you do have that, that, that cloak of privacy, which is awesome. Okay, so I fell asleep a little early around 4.30, what do you say, Nicole? Around 4.30. But keep bear in mind, we had a long day. Honestly, you can't really see much outside because it is pitch black. The structure does sway a little bit um, because it is, it is like 
hooked to the treats that also do sway. <laughs> the biggest challenge is gonna be drinking enough water to stay hydrated and, and have our skin looking nice and smooth, but to not drink enough where we have to go and pee at four in the morning um, downstairs. Yeah, so we're gonna go to sleep. We'll catch you in the morning. Ta ta for now. <laughs> Good morning, world! We slept soundly. I mean, it's not like a Tempur-Pedic mattress, but very well. It's like we had a long day yesterday. So last night was amazing. It was cold. It gets cold out here, guys. Um, but we turned on the heater. It took around 15 minutes to warm up the entire space. Honestly, I think like the sway of the of the pod really, it's like a, it's like it had a roxy to bed. The sunrise was so beautiful. I really just like laid in bed and took it in. 360 views, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna knock it. So great. I was scared. I'm not great with heights. I think it's a human thing, right? Fear of falling is human. But this felt like really sturdy, and I got over it really quickly. Like once I got here, the structure is suspended on redwood trees. And every single day, as the trees grow bigger and stronger, the structure becomes more fortified in this environment. And once I realized that, my fear kind of melted away. One thing that is scary is that if you jump, the structure will shake and you remember that you are 50 feet above the ground, which is never a great reminder. This isn't a place for like a dance party, but it is a really good place for, for yoga, some meditation, read a book, knit, chill our hobbies. I didn't have expectations going into this experience. I knew that we'd be in a tree house and I knew that it was beautiful, but to actually have the, like the photos like match up with what, like what you see and to be suspended in the air was something I really couldn't like fathom before I got here. 10 out of 10 would recommend for those who are not fans of heights, but aren't afraid to take a little adventure. But overall, I had a fantastic time.